Morning guys, James here back at Dusseldorf Boat Show and this morning we're going to run through the Sunseeker range with you. Now I did a quick brief tour of the stand on the opening day here at the show, but this morning I'm just going to go into a little bit more detail of what is here and where they fit into the current Sunseeker range. So we've split the stand with the flybridge yachts here over on the right hand side and then across here on the left we have the ever popular predator style sports boat. Now if I just come around behind this sign here, we'll get a flavor for where the Sunseeker range currently is. So there are 22 models on this board, starting at the top here, just spin the camera down so you can see where that range goes from. Uh, so we start with the Hawk 38, this was a Bootsy hull, with outboard power twin 400 horsepower Mercury race engines. And then we start going into the Predator and Superhawk style day boats. Then we come down into things like the Flybridge Manhattans here, 55 and 68, a combination of Predator and larger yachts here. And we go all the way down to the 50 meter ocean project, which is still a conceptual boat at the moment, but I hope one day we will put one of those into production. Some of these are new models, so I'll highlight in here things like the Predator 55. This will come to Cam Boat Show later this year. Uh, the Sport Yacht derivative of that platform, I hope is going to be spring next year. And then as we come down, this is a new boat, Ocean 156. This is a, an 80 foot version of the Ocean 90 and that's coming later this year. Uh, 100 Yacht, obviously very popular boat. We've launched the 182 here at the show. The 120 Yacht, which is an update on the 116, all new hull interior on that one, and that's coming for 2026. And then we have the update on the very, very popular 131 Yacht, which is the all new Ocean 460. So there's some really exciting projects on that list. So where it starts, let's do the Manhattans first. So this is the entry level to the range. This was launched originally as a Manhattan 52 and then updated in 2020 to the Manhattan 55. Uh, starting price, I'm gonna use everything in pound sterling X tax and the prices do vary depending on where you are in the world. But just to give you a flavor, base boat on this is 1.49 million pounds X tax as you see her powered by Volvo D13 800 horsepower engines on shaft. There is an IPS option on the boat if you so wish to go with a full joystick pod drive control system. This particular boat, as you see configured, she's about 1.82 million X tax. So with six berths, three cabins, midships master, single crew in the back, still very much in the realms of an owner operator yacht at this size with just over 17 meters long. And for me in the UK, this is one of our most popular boats. Great as a first time or moving up from a smaller sports boat or flybridge. Lots of tours on the channel of these. Just come around on the board here so you can see a few stats how that works. A uh, single crew runs across the back here and then no garage on a Manhattan, so you have the tender on the platform. This one finished in that row white and as is pretty synonymous with Sunseekers these days, you have what we call the boot top stripe, which is that black stripe along what would be the waterline just above the anti -fail. And that for me is the classic Sunseeker shape. We built over 100, well over 100 of those, starting off with the original 52, arguably one of the most successful boats Sunseeker have ever built. Now next to her here is the big brother. This is the 68 Manhattan. Now this was launched, I think, autumn 2020. You have to forgive me some of these dates as I'm doing it off the top of my head. This particular one is that midnight gray hull band built for a client. Lovely dark gray hull band there with the carbon fiber detailing on the engine vents and what have you. So the galley is aft in this, as you can see up just through the cockpit there, saloon forward. There is a separate stairwell to the midships master cabin and then we have three guest cabins forward. It's a very popular charter boat as it packs a lot of accommodation inside. 2.455 million pounds X tax base boat. This is powered by the MAN 1200s. There is actually a thousand horsepower option on this hull and an IPS derivative as well for certain parts of the world. The 1200 horsepower being a real nice balance with this. We've got gyro stabilization 
and then the later boats they've just come along with the fin stabilizers as well very very nice all-round package there's two crew that sit in the back here but still very much in the realms of an owner operator size this particular boat as you see her here configured is just under 3.1 million pounds x tax on the water again no garage in the back so tender on the back up to around four meters long right so we've got to run across the stand here to the 76 yacht so this one is very very customized i'm actually going to do a run through on her later this morning which we'll bring later on the channel uh, we built well over 100 of these launched in 2017 would you believe a couple of updates on this platform but it's one of the most popular boats in the range finished in that lovely rail white gel coat and then we have a black painted hard top and some detailing around the flybridge mullions to lower the profile she is an absolutely cracking example this one is very very differently specced to a standard boat and we're starting off about 3.85 million pounds x tax as you see here uh, 1550 horsepower man v12 engines they get up and go these are real rocket uh, for their size still very much underneath that 24 meter load line and therefore owner operator with experienced family on board i can give you the stats here we have four cabins on the boat real nice suites they're all on suite of course and then crew access in the back here on this side we have the option for two or three beds in the back um, hydraulic platform as we've seen on the other boats with the tender on the back this particular one also has a crane up top those rails are removable and there will be later addition of a jet ski sitting up on the flybridge now this boat would you believe is getting on for nearly five million pounds x tax with this spec there are a lot of options over and above what you consider even to be a really nice standard spec boat they've gone to absolute town it's beautifully finished uh, but it does show what is capable despite us being a production boatyard there are lots and lots of options to turn this into a semi-custom build. Right, so let's head 180 behind us here onto the 88 yacht. This is pretty much my favourite boat in the range, if I'm honest. A very, very popular boat before was the 86 yacht, 26 metres, roughly end to end, fits under that 24 metre load line, four big proper suites on the boat and a sort of shallower V shape to the keel hull arrangement in the back end here gives her a slow speed efficiency. So these have got a range of well in excess of a thousand nautical miles at slow speed, but she'll still get on and do 28 knots with the throttles down. Uh, 1950 or 2000 horsepower piece MTU Rolls-Royce parent company engines. They are absolutely exquisite. Uh, some updates on the 86 for things like we did away with the balcony in this side, the other side. We put these lovely big inlaid glass windows into the side. A uh, starting price on these, they're about 6.3 million, give or take, uh, with the base engines. And then as you can see her here configured, we're about 7.58 million uh, for a new boat spec'd with all of the typical options. Uh, four big cabins are all downstairs on this one. So if you want to then go up a size, we have the 95 yacht. So this brings the master cabin up onto main deck. That then gives the capacity for either 10 or dare I say 12 guests as you can squeeze a couple of Pullman beds into the midships cabins if you're really trying to get maximum volume accommodation. This particular boat is the Yacht Share Programme from Meros. It's their second boat in the series. Coming in just over 8 million, 8.135 X VAT base boat. And then this one loaded up with the typical Meros high spec is 9.28 million on the water. Lots of custom interior options. I'm gonna go and do a walkthrough on that one later, which we'll bring to you on the channel at a later date. Uh, these were launched actually back, I think in 2016 first. First boat, 28 meter hull and running gear underneath. So we have again, the same engines as that 80 eight with the MTU 2000 series engines, 2000 horsepower piece in this particular one, still gets up, goes very, very well and has that lovely long distance range 
when it's required. I think we've built north of 50 of these. It's a very, very popular boat, still fits into the range extremely well. Right, back down to the Racy Superhawk 55. So we launched this here this time last year and they need no introduction. We have been in the Superhawk range for many years, but moved into the Predator styling and this was eagerly awaited to bring it back into the range. Now I know it's not quite as sleek and sexy and fast as the old Superhawks of yesteryear, but the clients buying those boats have all moved on. The volume and the living space and the entertaining room on the boat is far more important these days and this one does offer all of that as a great all-round package. She's still very, very pretty in the water. I've got a tour to bring you on this from a sea trial we did pre-Christmas on the south coast just to show how much fun they are. So powered their IPS 950s, which is the D11725 engine, pod drive control, full joystick, triple helm seats up there and still being the practical downstairs accommodation we've got two big double cabins both en suite we can make the saloon a converting double for occasional use if you really wanted to but lots of entertaining this boat is a big day boat for the south of France for perhaps Ibiza with the Formentera runs that sort of thing although we do have one of these in the UK for somebody that just wants a big day boat to go with their south coast house. It's a lovely, lovely bit of kit. Uh, we are 1.53 million pounds X tax starting price in this particular 1.78 million on the water with a fully loaded med spec. Slightly different color on the hull here. So this is a lunar gray. So you can obviously see a lighter color. Try and bring up the 68 in the background there to give a feel. And we do a shadow grey as well, so there's three different options on the Sunseeker product depending on what you like the look of. So behind us then, up the range on the Predators, we have the 65. Now this is a dual model platform, so you can take it as a Predator, which is the all-out glass hardtop sports boat design here. Try and get a picture of the side profile. And then there is an extra option for the sport bridge up top so that's then the 65 sport yacht everything is same from the deck level down but you gain the outside driving position garage is open for us this morning so you can see in the back there and when i'm asked to compare the predator versus the yacht range for me this is more like an apartment on the water and a flybridge with the volume is more like having a villa so it's still great accommodation and for those that don't need to carry around a big villa You've still got three big cabins, all en suite. In fact, there are four bathrooms on this particular hull. Uh, we're IPS 1350s. So that is the uh, D13 1000 horsepower engine. She gets up and goes for the upper 30 knot range. Beautiful through the water, very, very popular boat. Uh, we launched this January 2021. She was part of the famous five launch during the back end of COVID. Very, very popular boat. Fits in the UK marinas as well as the Med easy for an owner operator to run and as we said earlier three cabins as standard there's a single crew in the cockpit and the option in the space downstairs lots of tours on the channel of these uh, to add an extra single bed fourth cabin if you need the extra beds uh, price wise just to give you an option this is 2.465 x tax and then we are just over three million pounds on the water as you see her here with a nice mediterranean spec uh, moving up, so just as the 65, we have a dual option on the 75 Predator. So this was launched here this time last year as the sport yacht version. Um, update on the Predator 74 that we did before. She's a beautiful shaft drive boat, starting to get in some proper yacht systems on this. So we've got hydraulic fin stabilizers. Uh, we've got hydraulic thrusters. It's a very, very cool boat to drive. Getting on for speeds approaching 40 knots and she is absolutely sublime love this model we've got lots of them running around in the adriatic that i look after and i just give you her main stats here on the board uh, this particular one's configured with three cabins downstairs all big suites there is an option in the lower dinette space to squeeze another bunk cabin in if you require but most of them built as a three cabin uh, garage as per the 65 in the back this side we'll take a, a 395 williams we've got a couple of crew beds in the back as well 
it is still a big, big, big day boat for a lot of owners, although more than capable, big fuel tanks and decent range to go away and use it as a proper cruiser, just like you would any of the Manhattan or Yacht series. So that's the largest of the Predators I have here on the stand. As we said, it is possible to put a set of stairs in. They fit on the, the port side here, up and above the wet bar arrangement there, and that gives you the sport bridge option up top. Uh, 3.285 million pounds X tax on this particular one, and she's coming out about 3.93 million on the water with her options. Pretty typical spec for something like this. Again, that midnight gray hull band with the black painted roof structure up there gives a very, very aggressive look. Hard to really appreciate that here on the stand, but it's a lovely, lovely bit of kit. To finish off, something new for this was actually launched here at the show this week. This is the new Ocean 182. So the very, very popular part of that 2020 Famous Five was the Ocean 90, which was a four cabin boat, giant volume, really, really about onboard living space. And then this is the enclosed flybridge version. So we've done away with the internal helm. We're going to do a tour of this one later in the week. We just have the uh, main bridge up on the top deck there. You can see the big glass windows through the boardwalks there. Come around the back. And you can take in absolutely giant beam. So we're 7.16 meters wide on these. They're almost as big as a 116 yacht in beam. And if you're going away in the Adriatic and you want to spend weeks and weeks away, it is the pretty much ultimate platform for doing this. You can see that giant aft end. It's got the transform extend back end there with the seat that drops up and down. Big storage area in the back. We've got space for a jet ski and a decent size tender on the platform. Uh, we're starting off 7.9 million pounds X fat for one of these. This particular boat, big, big spec. We're about 8.94 million, as you see her true price on the water. As we said, four cabins, they're all downstairs. There are um, four crew as well, accessed off the port side down to their mess and small galley area below. And of course, being the world launch, or I should say that being the European launch here, it's great to see an alternative layout for certain territories where the enclosed layout will perhaps be a little bit more suitable for their weather. So that's everything we have here on display. Obviously we build considerably larger than what's here, but this is pretty much the limit of what we can get into the hall here. And for those of you wanting to see anything bigger really, the main opportunity to do so is either Can Boat Show in September or Monaco Yacht Show that runs shortly after where we tend to display our larger yachts. So after the show, if you want to see any of these, we're only running for another few days here in Dusseldorf. There will be the opportunity, of course, to come and see us one-to-one -one back in Poole. We carry stock of all of these sort of models throughout the season. So if you can't get to one of the international shows, there is always the opportunity to come down and see something at the shipyard, either in the latter stages of build or physical product ready to go, hopefully for the 24 season. Contact details as always, it's james at sunseekersouthampton.com or the mobiles plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Hope you've enjoyed looking around with us this morning. Lots to see here through the rest of the week. So check back soon for a little bit more of the Sunseeker range.